Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <clears throat> Kevin God our glory. Welcome to the Family Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels. They were coming out of the book of Luke, the fifth chapter and the twenty-fourth verse. That's Luke five and twenty-four. And it reads out of King James Version. But that ye may notice that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up that couch, and go into thine house. Again, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up that couch, and go into thine house. Now these are the words of Jesus. And he's addressing some Pharisees and scribes who has questioned his ability to forgive sins. And he been, you know, he had just told a young man who was lowered through a roof by his four friends. He said, Man, thy sins are forgiven. <clears throat> and he perceives the thoughts of the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes. And he said, and this is his response to him. But that ye may know, he wanted to say, so that you know that the Son of Man, that Jesus, that I have power upon earth to forgive sins. He said, I am the Son of Man. I have power on this earth to forgive sins. And to prove that, he tells a man who was, and this, that's when they say, sick of the palsy. This is a man that was sick of the palsy and lowered to the roof. I say unto thee, rise. Get up and walk. So he couldn't walk before that. So Jesus healed him, told him to get up and walk and go home. And see, so what, what we have here is a complete lack of faith by the first reason scribes scribes and Jesus' ability to forgive sins. You know, they had seen Jesus in action. They'd seen the things that Jesus had done. But he still did not believe that Jesus had authority to forgive sins. Or they didn't want to believe it. And here we are today, over 2,000 years later, and a lot of us still don't believe that Jesus Christ can forgive sins. But I'm here to tell you today that not only can Jesus Christ forgive sins, Jesus Christ is the reason our sins can be forgiven. Jesus Christ is the reason our sins can be forgiven. Now, he came to this earth, and his father sent him, and he died on the cross and was resurrected so that our sins could be forgiven. And, it, and in our everyday lives, are we trusting Jesus Christ enough to have our sins forgiven? Does our faith allow us to do the things that we need to do to become children of God? You know, I think a lot of people, you know, we like to read the Bible. And some things we take little that we apply to our lives and other things we'll just ignore. <clears throat> For example... The Bible says that we should forgive those that say Jesus forgives so we can go to heaven. But a lot of people just skip over that. They don't want to forgive people, so they're not going to apply it to their lives. But see, when we trust Jesus, when we believe that Jesus can save us, then we're going to do everything that he wants us to do. And if you're not doing that, then you are risking giving up eternal life with Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not going to say that you're doing something that's going to make that going to send you to hell. I don't know exactly what you're doing. But I can't say that if we're not following God completely. We're putting our opportunity to go live with Jesus Christ in eternity, for eternity is being put at risk. Excuse me. Whew. So we need to make sure that we've if we understand how God wants us to live, 
and that we trust him to forgive our sins. And we realize that he is the reason that our sins can be forgiven and that we can come before God. And Jesus represents us in front of God. He's our intercessor. And he's here for us. And we just need to lean on him and trust him in everything that we do. Thank you for your time. That's all the time that I have. Hey, God bless you. God loves you. And I love you too. Have a great day.